This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're at the Small Cap Discoveries Conference 2019 in Vancouver, BC. With me right now is a familiar face, Mr. Brandon Mackey, who's one of the editors of Small Cap Discoveries Newsletter. Brandon, another great conference. Thanks for having us. No, absolutely. This is our third year doing it, and it seems to get better and better every year. So thank you guys again for coming. Yeah, no, we love to support it, and uh, again, thank you for having us. So before we get into a little recap of the event, uh, let's get your background, too, for those who may not have seen any of our interviews in the past. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a chemical engineer by trade and uh, got involved with investing uh, really through um, the Microcap Club Forum, uh, which landed me a job at a local hedge fund in Houston. Uh, and then from there, networked out and started writing the Small Cap Discoveries newsletter with uh, my partner, Paul Andriola, and we've been doing it about five years. And for those also, tell us a little bit about the Small Cap Discoveries newsletter. Yeah, so Small Cap Discoveries were a paid newsletter, um, you know, based out of here in Vancouver, all about finding the best emerging growth stories in Canada. And so we read filings every day, combing, looking for companies that are growing revenues, undervalued, but most importantly, undiscovered. And uh, no one's heard of them, and we try to be the first people to highlight them. All right, so for my next question, we're, we're trying to go as niche as possible here, I guess. You know, So let's get a state of the non-resource Canadian microcap market. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so it's, it's an exciting time. Um, we've seen a lot of people leave the space, which for us is actually really exciting because that's where we think the best opportunities come from. So we're seeing a lot of kind of flight to safety, as you will. Uh, so moving up market into larger companies, maybe technology, healthcare, uh, things that are safer. And some of the niche operators um, have been sort of left uh, to be kind of re-undiscovered, if you will. And that's what we're trying to do here at the conference is highlight a lot of those. And so we've got things in... SaaS, specialty pharma, uh, industries where there's great opportunity for recurring revenues, profitability, um, and in the U.S. can command high valuations in the private market, but here in Canada we think can be picked up quite cheap. So what, what are some of these forces that drive these ins and outs of being interested in non-resource Canadian microcaps? You know, some years we hear like, all right, well, TSX Venture is down big, and that's driven by just, you know, the heavy, heavy uh, resource aspect of it. You know, but, but what are some of the other drivers that you see? Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of it can be exciting new industries. Of course, we all know um, industries such as blockchain, cryptocurrency, uh, cannabis to some extent. Um, they get really hot. There's a lot of money to be made. People uh, funnel into them and maybe they get a little overheated. And then when they inevitably crash, uh, people can tend to write off the entire sector, uh, the entire non-resource sector, if you will. And so that can drive a lot of people out of the market where a lot of these gems, these SaaS companies, these healthcare companies kind of get lumped in with you know, microcaps in general. And that's where we see a lot of the opportunities for companies that are profitable and growing and have been kind of left for dead. So what are some of the things you're looking for right now in, in this current state of the market? Yeah, so... I mean, we're always looking for strong fundamentals and, and a balance sheet. You know, when a, when a market becomes, you know, less interest, is less, less capital moving, uh, it's really important to maintain a solid balance sheet if access to capital is, uh, becomes challenged. Um, but we think that companies that are growing revenues, that are profitable, they're doing all the right things, if the market's not going to give them a good valuation, eventually a private buyer will come in and drive that valuation. We're starting to see that, some quality companies being acquired. And we think that's a great sort of counterbalancing force to the undervaluation that we're seeing. And one theme that we've seen a lot in the U.S. recently is that a lot of companies tend to stay private a little bit longer, think they're going to get a higher valuation. There's a lot of private equity throwing money at these companies, you know, because they, you know, uh, maybe put technology or some, something to their names. But are, you, are we seeing similar trends in Canada or are we starting to see some of these companies go public earlier in their life cycles? Yeah, that's one of the great things about Canada is that they come public a lot earlier. And, and one of the big reasons is the venture capital industry in Canada is a lot less mature than it is in the United States. So when a company really is starting to validate their business model, they're starting to grow, they need capital, they don't have a whole lot of other options than to tap into the public markets. And that's great because it, it keeps retail investors and institutional investors alike really interested in the space. And there's a lot of great opportunities, you know, where... If a company comes public at a $30 billion valuation like they do in the United States, a lot of the money's already been made. But here in Canada, you can find these great companies at five, ten, fifteen million $15 million market caps that go on to produce multi-bagger returns. 
So what, what should our audience take away from your now third annual Small Cap Discoveries Conference? Well, we continue to believe that the Canadian microcap uh, market is one of the most attractive spaces uh, in the world. You've got great growing niche companies that are doing all the right things that are generally undervalued, and there's a lot of great opportunities. One more question about the newsletter. You know, how does that work? You said that it's a paid newsletter. Is that investors paying you, and then you're, you're going out and looking for new ideas, or how does that work? Yeah, so absolutely. So we are first and foremost investors. So we invest our own money uh, in nearly all the companies that we follow on the newsletter. Uh, and then we charge a subscription fee, which goes to fund our operations and due diligence. But uh, we don't charge the companies any fees. We're, we're investors, and we try and be along uh, and share in their success. And where can our audience go and find more information about Small Cap Discovery? We're at smallcapdiscoveries.com. I'm Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and joining me today again has been Brandon Mackey from Small Cap Discoveries, and we're at the Small Cap Discoveries Conference 2019 in Vancouver, B.C. Brandon, always a pleasure, man. Thank you, Robert. Thank you.